What's up, guys? And your boy G A C Hustle, and we back with that pressure. We got my boy Esai with me today, man. What you over doing? Editing? Editing, man. Working hard. Yeah, man. So you can pay for that. I ain't gonna spoil ya. I ain't gonna spoil ya. All right. So if y'all watched my last video, y'all already know I'm actually getting rid of my Sig X Macro today. Stay tuned for the next video so you know what I got rid of it for. You know what I'm saying? But I am carrying my Glock 19. As you can see, we are cleared and empties. No, I ain't cleared and empty. I'm armed and dangerous. Legally dangerous. I'm carrying my Glock 19, man. I really didn't have enough time to get parts here and there. Like, I just did this this week because I needed the EDC. So, quick breakdown. I got the burner platter on there, flat shots, TLR Streamlight, raised sights. You know I believe in raised sights, man. If you got a raid that, you got to have raised sights, especially on an EDC. Competition, it really don't matter, you know what I'm saying? But EDC, got to have them jumps. Now, Beaver Tail. I got the, the Flare Magwell. And that's really about it, man. I left the stock trigger. I'm not changing no intern. Well, I you got a custom GAG uh, slide plate, a little fire on oh, the back. That, that, this old stuff, you know what I'm saying? GAG slide dull. plate, you know what I'm saying? We got the you got the yes slide Lord. cuts too. Hold on, slide I mean, cut. Hold on, buddy. This old. Then you said nothing though, but I mean, like you still suited that thing up. It's though. suited and booted. It, yeah. It's ready for its purpose. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna sure. eat this, but. I been had this gun in my arsenal and y'all been new about this. I just never EDC'd it because I felt like it poked too much. So I always stayed with my 43X. But after shooting and I found the Sig X Macro, I was like, bruh, small, 17 rounds, and like I can EDC it good, but I think I've been in the gym lately. <laughs> not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. I'm really getting wider in my in my stomach area. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna talk about the bunions because they getting a little big. I don't know, I don't know why. Nah, I just bro. do a little squats for my leg, but my, my bunion will get bigger. I don't know. I got a little bigger, so basically I'm going to be carrying my Glock 19 today. We have a little errands to run. We out here in H-Town again. Man, we come down here so much. My about just move. Yeah, hey, about to make the move, bro. My boy just move like H-Town boys. You know what I'm saying? Hey. G-H-G hustle. G-H-Town hustle. G-H-Town hustle. Mm. What the word is? What the word, bird? Hey, you comment down it. below. Do you touch your EDC bullets like this? I like to put my fingerprints all on it because when I pull it out, I'm pulling it out because I have to pull it out and I have to handle business because my life is in danger. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no pump faking. Ain't no unnecessary drama. You know, this is strictly business. This is strictly self-defense. This is strictly my life is in danger. You know what I'm saying? I don't get why people are like, why you, why you put your thumbprint on the bullets? Nigga, you got to call the police afterwards anyway. You don't, you don't do that? I could see both sides though. I touch my EDC rounds, my uh, hollows, I touch them, but I could see why people would just, you know, want to cloth it up and just, cause hey, at the same time you never know though. Them, them the illegally dangerous. I mean, even if you legal, you do everything legal, the gun in your name, I still could see why people don't want to touch the rounds. I mean, that's just like how you brought up the stigma, like you don't touch the rounds. Like, even when I'm out where shooting. That, where that stigma come from? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We legally dangerous though, man. We, we, we good. You just taught not to touch your rounds, bro. Like, when people see me touching my rounds, they be like, bro, Because you, you got taught from the hood lumps. Me too. It's all right. <laughs> we grown now. We can touch our bullets. Because after, yeah, we we after we have to defend ourselves, I'm calling the police. Hey. I can't say that, though. Nah, you know that's I'm crazy. I'm calling the police, you know? Nah, you cruel. Because you said uh, after somebody try to rob you, you're going to come put their face on a t-shirt and post it on YouTube. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't doing all that, man. We ain't ripping off none of that, man. Hey, there's actually, a I think, a dude in Houston who did that. Like he took a picture in the dudes the next oh, day. Oh no no yeah I saw that for yeah, sure. He nigga. was all over the door. Yeah I see yeah, that. Yeah nigga out of here. I thought you now. meant like it was a YouTuber put him no. on a shirt and then made a video. And like the thing, the crazy thing is, even though he popped him in self defense, you gotta still remember, man. Like whoever you, like even if you're in the right, like that person has a family. So if you have to do something in self defense, don't try to brag off of it. Don't try to rip off of it. Like you know what I'm saying you defended yourself. Mm -hmm. Thank God you're still here. You know what I'm saying? But don't don't take it to the stream and yeah, put him on a t-shirt. Yeah, put him in rap song. Cause mm -hmm. you talking, I know you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And then gone. Like he defended himself though. Like yeah. he was in the right, but he just spinning right the wrong way. And I'm gonna just be carrying my uh Glock 19 today. Got my holster and see if anybody noticed it. I think it's really all in my head. Like I don't even think people would notice it there. What do you think? I've been carrying my 19X for the past few days, and like every time I walk in Walmart or something, I always like 
be yeah. kind of like looking down a little bit. Cause from our angle, you can kind of see that. Mm -hmm. But like from the outside Most angle, people they not just gonna be staring at your appendix, bro. Yeah, if like, anything, they think that's like your private area. Nobody just gonna really stare at that. So I mean, if anything, we got the little side, the little quick piece, so it's like hugging a little bit tighter. It ain't nothing to hit one of these real quick. You know, you hit you one of these. That's how I normally do it when I walk in the store. I have my hand in my pocket, put your thumbs out like that a little bit so mm -hmm. it's not like showing. It's really easy. I feel like you'd be fine, bro. All right, so our first stop, we at Gold Guns, man. I gotta drop off a little some, some. Wait, hold on. Dang, that's, that felt kind of sus. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me get it for you, bro. Nah, uh, you ain't recording. Know. You ain't recording back there. We gonna get you from the side, ho. <laughs> oh, wait. Well, nah. So we first stop, Gold Guns, man. Y'all gonna see what we doing, drop off in there. And I don't know if I have something ready, but I know he said he was having kind of trouble, so I lied to you, I'm not feeling this. You're not? I'm, I'm about ready to go back to the 43X. <laughs> Cause like, when I look down, I just see it like, but yeah, I think I'm it's- strides, man. I'm gonna go to it right there. Hold on, let me see if y'all can see what I'm talking about. Like, like, I feel like. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, you just think too much. Think too much. My bad. It's a little greasy. Nah, my bad. Excuse me. We got the pitch at. We got the black portion. Went to all glory to God. My boy got that. Ooh, we drip stuff. Like, look at how you see. In the dark. In the dark. I couldn't afford it, man. I need the money back. I took the pictures with it. I'm taking it back. Now, man, we did a whole lot, man. We went and got some eat. Stopped at the jury spot, but now we at the Galleria. My boy about to take back his Louis. He took his picture, got what he had to do, and that's it. Nigga, mm -hmm. nigga, flag, man. Yo. No, I gotta go back in the store. I got a couple of them, though. Take me here, my father. I see you. Try to think, man. I picked a bad day to wear the blue short though. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, I can't see it. Can't see it yeah, there. like, I gotta stand, stand behind this. Like, it's more calm. Or some chill, casual. Like, that pocket's fat, boy. <laughs> Feel like a whole. You know, I don't know, man. Mm. Wait, I don't. I don't know if I just did. I don't think I did nothing. Ready? Uh, it's kind of like zoomed in. I don't zoom know. it out then. Zoom in, zoom it out. Oh, damn. I don't know how to wear this thing. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, man. That's going to conclude our day. We at the Buggies, though. Scrapped up. But y'all tell me, do you, do, does it look like anything? You know what I'm saying? How I look? It look like anything? No, nah, you look straight. Looking straight? Yeah. I felt look. straight like when I first started the day. Mm -hmm. It was kind of in my head, but after that, I really forgot about it until like it poked my ball set and kind of hurt. Like the comp hit your ball the, the set? The comp hit my ball set and it was like, ah. Did it like grab one of the hairs? Like it like, it, pinched it, it felt like it was like, like a Mortal Kombat. It was like a sharp pain for a second. Like you had to yeah. adjust. Yeah, yeah. Like adjust it wasn't thing. nothing you could just like hey, shake shit out. Loud with you that, could, you couldn't just like shake out of it. Like you had to like adjust. Mm -hmm. I had that bro. When I came back from the crib last night, and I sat down on the toilet, and I didn't take my pants down yet. Yeah. It like it pinched me. Maybe you can trim down there. Cause <laughs> I said it grabbed my paws. Say it ain't, ain't pull my. No, hair. but like I don't think it grabbed one of the hairs for it. Like it got caught in between. Caught me in my soft spot. Ooh, what that is? FN for you and your friend. Ooh. But check this out, man. We got that brisket burger. Mm -hmm. I thought he's a vegan. Brisket is vegan. Hey, what are you talking about, mm -hmm. bro? What are you talking about? We're gonna do the taste test right quick. We're gonna pop out the tea. What? You're not perm guy? Taste test. Smell test first. You gotta smell your food. Yeah, you gotta smell it before you eat it. Damn, boy. Damn, little mama. It was good. It's fresh. Ooh. Ooh, you gonna wanna break me a piece? Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Put it on top of the chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. It smell good too. Mmm. 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 
the bread nice and soft, the brisket still warm. Let me just came here instead of yeah, Prospect yeah. Park, man. Mm -hmm. mm. That was that was good right there. Bucky's, you might be on some. My that was fresh. We watched them make it too. Like she was on top of her game. Mm. Where the sponsorship at, man? We need a sponsor, yo, Bucky's. Sponsor, man. We be in here pumping, gab, copying your food, man. Mm -hmm. Copping the ices, mm -hmm. a little slurpy. Mm -hmm. Oh man, come on, look. look. Mm hmm. Hey. Night ain't gonna be my EDC though. Mode there, mode there. I can go with it. But, y'all boys stay tuned. Stay like, hold on, my fault, man. I'm gonna offer him something, not y'all. I really mess with y'all more than him, but. Y'all get y'all a little bite right quick. You got a little something on your face, though. <laughs> Yeah, busting ain't it? I can't. Get, here, here, get another bite. 